Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And with OS Lion being released yesterday, I've had a little over a day now to actually get used to the OS and take a look at the new features. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the most prominent features for you, as well as giving you my final review at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up the Finder application here. And as you'll notice, everything looks pretty much the same as it did in the Snow Leopard version of Finder. But what's nice now is that there's this new feature called AirDrop, which will allow you to share um, files between Macs that are nearby simply by dragging and dropping. You don't have to set up a file transfer or anything like that, so it's really convenient. You also notice here on the left hand side that the actual like icons that used to be colored are no longer colored. They all have a gray look now, which looks nice because it's unified. But one thing that I liked about Snow Leopard was that it was easy to recognize different folders and stuff because I had them color coded differently here in the favorites bar. But it's not too much of a downfall. Also now you can change the size of windows simply by clicking on any corner, which is really nice. In Snow Leopard you can only use this corner to actually change the size. Now you can change the size of any corner, so it's really nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the system profiler. This was also updated, so you can now view stuff about your Mac, such as how much uh, storage and different specs about it, with this nice, uh, more of a nice look because you've got images now to actually visualize it. In the older system profiler, it was just all text and it was pretty boring. You can also uh, look into getting like support for your Mac with the Help Center online and stuff like that, as well as looking at the manual and stuff. You can also take a look at getting um, Apple Care and looking at your repair options. So a lot of new stuff in the About This Mac and the System Profiler, so it's really nice. Next, let's take a look at the Safari application. So one nice thing about Safari is now there's the full screen mode as well as uh, most other applications have received full screen and Lion as well. So it allows you to immerse yourself in one single application and not have to worry about anything else that you have open. So let's go ahead and exit out of full screen mode here. There's also this downloads button here so you can take a look at the downloads that you've actually downloaded. And it's a lot nicer than in Snow Leopard because there's actually a separate window in Snow Leopard that you would have to have open. Now it's actually unified within the application itself. Additionally, you can swipe between all the different pages that you've viewed in Safari. So if I want to swipe between all these web pages that I've opened, it's uh, really nice now because I can simply just swipe and it really quickly opens up every single web page that I've visited in this actual window here. Next, let's take a look at Mail. So in Mail, it looks pretty familiar uh, like it does on the iPad. So you've got your uh, mailboxes here on the left-hand side, the actual messages here in the middle, as well as the actual then the actual blown up message on the right hand side. We can also view uh, mail in full screen mode just like we could in Safari. And you also notice here the scroll bar on the right hand side. It goes away when you're not scrolling just like it does in iOS. Now we're going to take a look at Launchpad. Launchpad is a way to view applications just like you do on your iPad or iPod Touch using iOS. So you can view them by different pages. You can move them around any way you want simply by clicking and holding down on them and you can move them. You can also make folders so if I want to drag this on top of this application I can do that just like I can in iOS and you can rename the folder as well if you want to do that. Um, you also notice here that there's two X's here so you can delete applications do using this method as well which is a lot more convenient than the old method in Snow Leopard where you'd actually have to go and find all the different files and then move them to your trash can but you'll notice that that only works with applications that you've purchased through the Mac App Store. So I purchased these through the Mac App Store, but my iWork uh, applications here I installed actually on a CD, so I can't delete them. But in the future, when only updates are available through the Mac App Store, you'll be able to delete all your applications using Launchpad, which will be a lot more convenient. But you can still use the uh, actual deleting the applications through the actual applications folder like you did in Snow Leopard as well. Next, let's take a look at Mission Control. So in Mission Control, it's a great way to help get yourself organized if you've got a lot of windows open and you can get yourself uncluttered. So if you click on the Mission Control icon, it'll organize all your uh, open windows by the application that they're within. So if I have all these numbers, app, if I have all these windows here, like I got one window of pages open, a couple of keynote, as well as a couple of numbers, it'll organize them by the application that they're from so I can quickly find what I'm looking for. So if I'm really cluttered right here and I want to get away from it, I can simply go to a new desktop and it still keeps those applications open that I had. So I can get to a new desktop and get away from them, but they're still available for me to use later. You can also add a new desktop by just putting your mouse in the right hand corner and simply clicking on it. And if you want to get back to your other desktops, you don't always have to click on the mission control icon to get back to them. You can simply just two finger swipe and it'll bring you back to all these windows that we had open from before. You can also get to your dashboard using this method. Next, I want to take a look at system preferences, and one thing that I really didn't like about Line 
was this uh, natural scrolling that they had enabled, which is enabled by default. So basically, it's trying to make the iOS form of scrolling brought to the desktop. So on your iPad, when you're using Safari or whatever to look at a web page, you use your finger and move it in the direction that you want the page to move. Now, um, so they've tried to enable that on uh, OS line, which really doesn't make sense when you're trying to use a mouse. So I'd highly recommend actually disabling that feature because it's kind of weird if you've never used it before, and it takes it's just too confusing to get used to for me. So that's the only thing I found kind of bad with line, but you can simply easily disable that. So OS line at this point has actually received over a million downloads. If you could get it to load up here, there it is. And uh, so, so far it's gotten great reviews. I've heard that the stats are 90% of people have rated this uh, update five stars. So in my opinion, I think it's a five star uh, upgrade as well. There's really no reason not to get this unless you just cannot afford it for whatever reason. But yeah, there's really no uh, reason not to get this if you do own a Mac because it helps to bring the great features of iOS to your Mac. They're simple features, but it makes the experience that much better. So that has been my review of Mac OS line. If you have any comments, please leave them below like the video and subscribe and as always have a nice day and before I go I just want to remind you guys of my OS line giveaway that I'm doing all you simply need to do is subscribe and you'll be automatically entered I will announce two winners this Thursday at the beginning of my Thursday thoughts video and uh, I will not have any videos uploaded for the next five days because I'm going on vacation but as soon as I come back I will hopefully be able to upload one uh, if I'm feeling up to it so I just want to let you guys know that and I guess I'll see you in the next one